Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll see a uh, strategy of investing like Terry Smith. Not all of us would know who Terry Smith is. So Terry Smith is a very famous uh, British um, fund manager. He has founded up a funding company. He's in fact called as the English uh, Warren Buffett. So he has got an investment checklist which we follow, which gives a solid uh, a CAGR of around 15 to 20% year on year. So he has gained his stellar reputation just because of his uh, set and forget rule of investment strategy. His strategy is just set and forget. In fact, to put in simple terms, he often says that like uh, do nothing. That's his uh, core keyword. So as a founder of this uh, equity fund, Fundsmith, so uh, he delivered an impressive rate of 15% annually year after year since 2010. So this was launched in 2010. So the MSCI index in the world, which is your Morgan Stanley uh, index, which is comprising of about 1500 large and mid cap companies. So they have given a 12% CAGR in the same period, but his funds has always given 15 to 20% of uh, CAGR. So his strategy is all about uh, discipline, long term thinking and high quality investments. So in this video, we'll see uh, the checklist that we need to follow to manage up his style of investing into the mutual funds or into your equity funds. So without further delay, let's get started with it. And if this is the first time you're watching this video, my name is Anand and I've been posting technical contents on this channel, Macwin. The first thing that you need to do is on focusing on the high quality business. That's the main key important thing. So Smith always looks for companies that gives you consistent cash returns. His ideal investments are companies that gives you a repeated purchases on stability and resilience. So he always looks up for companies which gives you like a surplus of cash returns without any zero debts. So you have to look for zero debts and consistent cash returns. The second thing to uh, look for is like intangible assets. So what I mean by intangible assets is like having a multiple brands or patents or like having strong customer relationship. So these, as, um, these assets create a very competitive edge, allowing the companies to maintain high returns above the typical average, even during the reversion of the market. So when there are performance dips over a time, this will help you to sustain the business or the company floats normally when there is a decline in the market. The third important thing is like avoiding companies that are dependent on debt. So he clearly stays away from businesses that rely very heavily on uh, uh, debt. So because uh, when you generate a return that is normally eaten up when there is a debt in the company. So this includes the sectors like banking and real estate and um, where there is a leverage is the core business model. So he avoids up companies like that. And the next thing that he focuses on is like uh, sustainable growth companies. So growth is very uh, important for any business to thrive and he always looks for that kind of companies. He looks for companies that can reinvest excess cash flow back into the business. So we've got companies, uh, when companies get a lot of cash flow, they normally share it with uh, the shareholders in the form of dividends. So he looks up for companies that normally pay you back or they at least reinvest back into the business. The fifth most important strategy of him is like not to over diversify. He normally believes that a highly focused fund with just 20 to 30 companies like how we have in India, those focused funds. So he believes on things like that. He doesn't believe in buying up 100 different stocks. He believes only in 20 to 30 core businesses and invest on them. If you do not um, fully understand a business, don't invest into that. So that's his way of uh, investment strategy. Then the sixth idea would be is like inv investing on resilient businesses. So there are some businesses that are resistant towards markets uh, uh, disruptions. So even when there is a market decline or a correction happening in the market. So these companies try to be like stable, making them less vulnerability to rapid change. So those type of companies are preferred by him. The next important point is like buying on the attractive valuations. So even if the company is meeting up all of these criteria, Smith waits for this company to buy in his price. So he invests or buys a stock only when the price is right for them. He looks for a free cash flow yield, then there is a higher return for a longer uh, term. So that's when he long goes for it. So he tries to buy the stock at the right price. So his way of uh, finding up a fund is like really different. When Nvidia is like really catching up in the market, he in his recent interview, the most recent one, he said that like, we're not going to fail just because we missed out on Nvidia or we don't have that in our portfolio. We believe in companies like Alphabet and Microsoft. So that's his core strategy of investing. He believes in the company or the business model of the company and invest them is like a 
invest and forget strategy just invest and forget let them stay in your portfolio for as long as possible as long as the fund is like really good just forget it invest and forget that's the way to do your core business or how to invest into the stock market that is core way of investing so if you have to look out for companies like this in in the indian stock market i would think of companies like uh, itc would be one such company or something could be in your uh, defense sector which could be your mazagon dock so these are some of the companies that comes to my mind which is like a invest and forget kind of a strategy if you know of any such companies do leave them in the comments below i would love to see what you guys feel as the right company at the right value price of uh, buying them and uh, if you like this video do share it with your friends and uh, i would like to see uh, what you guys uh, come up with in the comments i'm really interested to see what you guys come up with and um, do smack that like button as well and i'll catch you up in the next one thanks for watching